Welcome to Next Gen Open Setup at Homestead. Uh, this should be interesting. So, um, normally I'll get my setups from OSR, the old school racing forums, but uh, it doesn't look like they do. Oops, they don't do uh, Next Gen setups, as far as I could tell. I couldn't find any. So uh, I went to my backup source, that being Major's Garage, uh, and their free setups. Um, so, gen uh, generally those are just uh, slightly modified, you know, fixed setups, just some tiny modifications, so probably not going to be all that fast here. But uh, I also just don't really understand the next gen car very well anyway, so I don't think I was going to be fast anyway. Uh, we'll see how we can do for qualifying here anyway. Yeah, I don't know. It, the car just, uh... Well, first of all, I wanted to do this because... It looked like, uh... Next Gen at Homestead was gonna be a, a bit of a, a challenge. Compared to, uh, some previous runs here. Um, so our previous runs with the Next Gen. Um, when I watched Nick's video, for example, he actually, uh got loose and spun it. Um, he had a very loose setup though. So I was like, huh, um, might be an interesting challenge to come out here with a, a, you know, have to do some lifting and all that. So I wanted to give it a try. Um, car is still super numb to me. I actually bumped the force feedback up so I could actually feel something and it's it just doesn't click with me too too well. Like how to race this thing? Like it's uh, I don't know. It just doesn't. I can't figure it out. <laughs> That's pretty much the gist of it. I don't quite understand it. So we're not fast. We probably got one of the worst times here. Yeah, pretty low. Well, we got a we got a handful of people behind us, but for the six car, I'm pretty low. Uh, I don't know. Um, probably gonna lose some eye rating this race, but who cares about that? We're just going to try to have some fun, have a good run, see what happens. I don't know. Uh, I couldn't find if there's tape <laughs> on these cars, then I didn't see it. Let me experiment with fourth gear, because... Do I want to be running fourth gear? No, it doesn't look like it. Looks like you could almost keep it in fourth gear, but... Oof. Yeah, I just don't I don't feel anything before it starts getting tight like that. It, it just kind of starts doing it. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't understand it. That's my problem. If I lift off, then is that better? Is this good? No, still red. I don't know. Um, I moved to the steering pinion, I believe is what it's called. Again, with the alien technology here, not understanding it. Um, I believe the steering pinion is the new steering ratio. So I moved that to the second lowest setting in terms of number. Because uh, that is... Uh, so essentially it's 14 to 1. Is, I think, the equivalent there. Whereas the lowest number would be 16, 14. Uh, the second lowest would be the 14 to 1 equivalent. So that's where I have that. Um... So I can try to save tires, I guess. Let me move the force feedback up. I'm gonna just a touch more. It just it just it feels like nothing's happening. It's so strange. So strange. Oh, I got mute. No, not mute. They just their mic's not working, guys. Um, yeah. So we're not gonna be fast. There's, I didn't find tape to put on this thing for qualifying. So I guess that's not a thing in these cars, unless I missed it, but I looked everywhere for it. So I didn't know if there was tape to put on it or anything. Um, yeah, I don't know, probably just going to be terrible this race. Maybe uh, just get some free safety rating if we can keep it clean, at least. Gain some spots if guys crash, but it is an open race and uh, pretty easy to drive. So. Is that a half pound or full pound? Fifteenth of thirty, exactly in the middle. Uh, uh, 
full pan. Yeah, just uh, basically the fix set up with some small changes is all I got here. Don't know what any of this means because I don't know how to set up cars, but here's the steering pinion thing I was talking about. I got it at 46.5. No idea what any of this does. Uh, front brake bias I thought looked good to me. Front brake bias. I just don't want to get killed in the first 10 laps or so. Uh, number 15 wants to get killed on lap 11. Good to know. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, hey, Robert. I haven't seen you in a long time. Uh, stretch before the race. What's up, Mr. Thompson? How are you, sir? I don't know. I'm doing all right. How you been? We'll doing? just donate some eye rating in this race, I guess, doing and uh, well, bud. experience this one. You, me and the wife had a second kid and working like a maniac, so I don't get to do as much racing as I would like. Three sets of tires. That work stuff seems to get in the way of everything. Brother, you ain't kidding. I laugh when people talk about the 40 hour week. I'm like, I do that by Wednesday. We've got a hard worker in here. Yeah, I usually have 36 <laughs> in by Wednesday. But don't you want paid paternity leave? Someone disconnected. Yeah, that don't work like that, unfortunately. So we're gonna be waiting this full time probably. It's only 30 seconds, not too long. I will say, when I worked in the motorsports industry, though, when my daughter was born seven years ago, they gave me a month paid off, but that was a private company, so. Motorsports industry, Who'd that's you work cool. For, if I may ask. Monticello Motor Club and Joe Jr. Three. Additional sets of tires during the wow. Have a good ride. So it's cute, cool hearing yeah, from guys that have actually worked in racing and stuff. You get a lot of them. So it looks like the guy that disconnected was right in front of us, so I qualified a little bit better all of a sudden. At that point, I was running the entire Bandolero program for his father. We had Joe and about six runners. So we'll creep forward uh, at we two miles an hour. We coming. This is about as fast as I'm going to be going in the race, so get used to it. Believe it or not, I actually work in the amusement and attractions industry. I'm a technician for roller coasters. I used to work with a lot of guys uh, about 15 These guys are more interesting than me, so I'm just going to let them talk. Very nice. Seems well, like a friendly group, there, though. That's uh, always nice. You Matt get a friendly uh, group, of, group of guys. Of Open setup have, have, have uh, always seemed to be a little uh, a little more polite than fixed because you got longer races. Plus, I think you know some guys work on their setup for a while, so they don't want it to be for a while. They don't want to be crashed out immediately. Uh, looks like a second gear start to me. Is very difficult. Me and my buddy Jay, that's in this room, are uh, very good friends with a guy that's a tire changer, and yeah, it's tough. Good luck, y'all. I'll watch this bright yellow car up in first. Should be easy to keep an eye on him. Pretty much waited till green there. As for any early spinners getting loose, cold tires. Not really trying to pass, but I didn't want to lift for him either. Sounds an arrow push. Typical in these cars. I think I might have had to lift off to not hit the wall. Watch him on our outside. Get a good lift off. Yes, it just feels so numb. Now oh, we're clear high. Get a good angle onto this next corner. Alright, maybe get some space here. Where are we at? 11th? 11th, okay. I'll be able to look and see where other guys are running, get an idea where I should be maybe on the track. Don't even have a full uh, understanding of that yet. I don't know if I mentioned it, but uh, I got a little bit of practice, but not too much. Not as much as I would have liked. 
Let something. Arrow push, I'm fighting a little bit. Ooh, I kind of feel that little bit of looseness on exit. It's interesting. What's uh, session last lap? We'll uh, keep an eye on that. Kind of like in that little dive down. I, I honestly, I want to put even more force bay back in it. It still feels so numb. It's so much higher than I normally have it. I normally, I normally keep that at about a 7. I mean, it's going to differ but depending on your wheel. But for my um, like standard amount, is usually about 7 or a little lower, um, depending on the car. Is this guy trying to pass again? Or uh, for the first time or whatever? I guess so. All right, that's fine. If you're faster, go ahead. Like I said, I'm going to be really slow. Seem all that faster, but seems to be uh, insistent on going for it. So, that is so unnecessary. Okay, fine, whatever. Do a slide job on lap six. Kind of feeling the looseness. All right, it's, it's so strange though. It feels like it's doing the car's doing nothing. Like you're driving on a baby blanket, and then all of a sudden it's like you have to visually look and see if it's actually getting loose or getting tight. It feels like, and I keep bumping the force feedback up to try to get an idea of it. it still, just feels like nothing. Eleven, who was insistent on taking that spot, is now kind of in front of us. I'm just gonna draft him now. We're getting a better run off. Not sure what that means. What I need to do differently. <laughs> just get bumped that way up. I want to feel something when I'm driving. just feels like there's nothing I can do. I don't... <laughs> I'm so confused by this car. Every time I get in it, the whole time I'm just like, what? what's happening? What am I doing? What am I doing right? What am I doing wrong? Am I doing anything? A little bit of arrow push. A little bit of like a, a battle going on here, maybe like that blue and yellow Mike Skinner looking car is kind of blocking, maybe a little bit. They seem to be falling back. Not doing any free wide nonsense or anything. That was interesting. That felt loose for a second. What's happening up there? Make sure they're not hitting the wall or anything. Nowhere to go at the moment. Just trying not to get held up too bad by uh, these guys running side by side. I always associate this like blue and yellow scheme with Mike Skinner. Uh, he's like parking it right in front of us. But they have to break a little bit. I'd love to get past him. I'm not trying to go anywhere fast, but I'd like to go somewhere. At all. Space. Clear 
Sure. Passing 11. Kind of. No idea how to save tires in this car, because it just feels like you're on a, on a rail. It's like a, it's like a, uh, what do you call them? Slot car? It feels like you're a slot car. I'm on the bottom three wide. Guess that guy's passing high. Is that a thing? Maybe I should be taking the high line. I'd love to do that, actually. If that's a thing, I'd love to do that. 11's kind of driving me insane a little bit. Just hanging on my outside. I'll try the high line then, sure. What do we got up here? Well, hey, that was kind of fun. Block. trying to hit me. I missed the corner. I am uh, going to be happy to be uh, away from him. Guess we're passing out this guy now. I'm just so stuck. Michael. Give him a lane because uh, they had a big run on us. I don't know if I'm doing anything right. I don't know if I'm doing anything wrong. Guess I'm just running the low line for now because he's out there. Just gonna slowly uh, make the pass, I guess, because it's looking like the higher line's a little bit faster, or I'm just underdriving the lower line. I don't know. to block it off, but I don't want to be blocking at this moment. Ooh, I had a weird frame drop there for a moment. Oh, hey! They must have gotten the wall. So we'll have our high side and see how that works for us. If you know anything about my driving, though, you... Should know. I like the high side, so at least I'll have a little bit of more fun with it. Woo! Forgot about that bump. <laughs> that could have been bad. Got that bump in the middle of uh, three and four. That's the thing. I didn't even feel the bump though. Like I saw the bump. I saw the effect of the bump, and I like feel like I didn't feel it at all in my actual car. So I guess we're turning the first speed back up even more. Doopy doop. This is now over double what I normally have it. I want to feel emotions while driving my car. I want to feel anything. Please. That was a very good corner. I think I took it a little too soft. Uh oh, they wrecking back there? I saw something happen. Yep, look at that. Wow, we Kazawi. Are we uh, within the pit window? I think we are. I don't know how I pulled that off, Bob. I don't know how you did that either because I was ahead of you in the project. Catch up, though. That's exactly what I thought. Gotta catch up, though. Gotta catch up, though. Man, you get stuck on the 
Gotta catch up though. No, you guys gotta catch all the way up. Gotta catch up though. Okay, it's far off of two, checking up hard. Yeah. Okay, off of two, so we should be fine. Should be able to catch up though. <laughs> There it is. We're there now. I remember this thing doesn't stop as quickly as I might have might think it does. So I'm gonna have to keep aware of that. I guess I'm gonna be in second gear for now. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Lead cars pitting. Thanks a lot, idiot. Stop! Oh my god, I stopped so early and I still slid past it. Why are these brakes made of tissue paper? Gained or lost, but we'll see. How you doing, Mr. Gregory? Hey, what's up, Carl? Gained, lost, stay the same. Man, I don't know. We both left back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that another day? At least they get over aggressive on the right side and start changing all your right side. What were the tires? 93, 96. I mean, I kind of panicked. I don't, I don't know. Take them off, is that good? Is that bad? I don't know. Probably don't want the right front to be worse than the right rear, but it didn't it's really okay, ever feel any different to me. You're on the loose one or the, the one. The, well, it was brave of them to put out a car written in wingdings. That's what I'm running, but I, I tend to get a push all the time. But I feel like you kind of got to yank this car to the bottom. So where are we are? Where are we now? You are correct. You do have the anchor to the bottom. Still ninth? Okay. Guess we maintained. Yeah. If you don't get to the bottom white line in that set, uh, it, it just wants to push like a dump truck. I noticed this set's real picky on corner entry, too. They're saying it's uh, it gets tight. Oh, the track is I didn't feel it. But uh, apparently it gets tight well, the other when the tires wear. Kind of fudge your way through it. It's probably that I, I just am not understanding how hard you're able to push this car. And so I'm not noticing whenever, uh, I hope this you know, when I can't push it as hard as I should be able to anymore. I guess maybe that's what's happening. We've got a different guy in front of us. That was that Florida car in front of us before, so I guess they swapped spots or something. Are they there wrecking under fucking caution? Are they wrecking under caution back there? Bravo! It is a uh, that takes single count. split, I think. One to go. Okay, Nick, get ready to the 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 this lap. So we might get some rookie yeah. level stuff in the back. He stops in the middle of the track. Yeah, 29 wants to keep fucking with me. I'll fuck everybody's race up. Appreciate right. if you didn't, sir. Right. I did not do anything to you. Man, I got virgin ears there. I mean, Michael, I made it past lap like four this time, so that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Progress. I tried to get we're not particularly to close on fuel, three. so we're definitely going to have to come in again. That was not even intentional. I was trying to follow you up. She got loose and cut the bottom. I'm like, okay, I guess we're going here now. <laughs> I'm not mad about it. Well, I got all my damn grip. All right, I guess we're going again. See the four is kind of blocking my view. Didn't need it because we waited until green anyway again. Right on the roof. 
rear. Scary. We got some three wide going on. Still there. They're stacking up three wide. Outside is clear. Car Arrow push. Live. What you guys doing up there? What you guys doing? Gasp. Gasp. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh well. I had no idea what was happening. I just held my line. <laughs> Alrighty. Come on by one. Well, hey, that was fun. Uh, Seven gallons. Seven gallons. So no, no need to lose this track position and try to fill it up with more fuel. We're still going to have to come in even if we take a little more. For what you did. Yeah. No reason to pit here. Well, oh, gain some more positions. <laughs> I'm gonna be interested in seeing what that looked like because I literally just I had no idea what was going on. I just went straight and hoped nothing happened to me. That's a uh, fast racer though. That's no longer in the race. Wow, he left. And didn't say a word. Yeah, he did. He prided me. Well, he got into it with my buddy yesterday during a race. Woo! Checking up hard. Sure was. I assumed he was a fast racer. He had a low car number. I don't know anything about him. They seem to have a history with him. <laughs> no, I mean, in his defense, we were running three wide, but he ran high and pushed me up into everybody else. Nine damage. Yeah, I was just about ready to blame you, Steve, because okay, I saw okay. your car come up into me. So I, if he did it, then yeah, it's all his fault. I'm gonna go look at the replay. Feet ball. It was me. I did it. So not sticking up for him, but I will say, if you run the crew chief app, because the way this track is, it doesn't let you know you're three wide quick enough. Hmm. I had the issue the other night. It's a good thing I don't use. Uh, you use the crew chief's high and low feature. So that it tells you quicker. Something you gotta like play around with. But the other night we were three wide and the guy was like, why did you run the lane? And I was like, I had a car on my outside and he's like, oh, my spotter never said it. And he told me he's running the crew chief app, but I've had it happen to me before. Uh, I noticed it actually a, a second ago there was somebody on the outside of me. The crew chief told me way late. So That's weird. I'm gonna adjust mine for a second. Yeah, I just use the default. Stupid question. How do you how do you adjust that? Uh, if you go to the properties, like way down towards the bottom, there's like different settings you can change. Thank you, sir. A million settings on that thing. Hmm. Well, some more pacing. We're in fifth somehow. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know how, but we're here. Started way back there, and I really don't yeah, feel very really fast. But I, I, I imagine we'll probably fall back if this goes green for any length of time. Uh, had to guess. Buy my setup. Do it. Helps me rotate the car better. <laughs> That's what that guy says. What's the spelling on Ryko? R Y C O. Uh, J. Yeah, it was in the chat. Jay, throw it up in the chat one more time for him. <laughs> yeah, I think we were about to be four wide, Gregory. Cause not a fan of setup shops, but here. not out here to make enemies, so hey, I will Jay, keep my mouth I shut. I not being right go at all. I just like Reapers uh, Gen 6 better. I got you. I mean, we try to make it where it's the fastest. I need to fix my squeaky time, pedal. Everybody can drive it kind of a thing. <laughs> Sounds like a hamster running in a wheel. Tend to drive a looser car than most. It's probably what my free setup has in the engine. Like our C open step for Dover is really loose, and me make sure to feed nibbles like loose, after the race. For the first five laps, I just no matter what, I can't keep up with my guys on the team. Once we hit lap six, I start. I should really up. get that fixed. That's probably annoying to hear. I've got a some magic wheel on it. Tends to make me like it even looser. Hmm. <sighs> We've got the, the one five. 
the car. On the left here, that silver car. I've got the uh, custom you number and the then we still see their uh, stamped number. Like that's kind of what NASCAR wanted. 22, you're inside. Yeah, I kind of figured that, but the old car, you can really play it three gallons. Like they're trying Let's to see where that is if we happen to get another caution. Driver, you know, and it, they're, they're boxy, so like you got to have a good setup and a good driver and not the air do everything for them. I will say in general, these cars probably rely on setup more than other cars because it feels like the driver doesn't have as much agency over what the car does. I wish that weren't the case, but that just seems to be in my limited experience. Like like what I was saying before, it feels like I'm not really doing anything. It kind of just feels like I'm in a, in a slot car. I think this setup was badass. You should have seen our last three weeks. Uh, Martinsville, Phoenix, and... Indeed. And all these guys must be with that Ryko or whatever, all advertising it. You should have seen how fast our setup was. Now, for only three easy payments of nineteen ninety-five. Wait till next week. Eight of us were testing it last night. We're going to go green again. Green flag, green flag. It would appear so. Here. Yeah, that's why I said at first I was gonna blame you. I feel like the gear is kind of weird in this setup. It's like I should the be getting to fifth gear a little faster, yeah, maybe. Look at them run away. There they go. Nibbles run faster. Come on, boy. We need to eat dinner tonight. Ooh, there's some of that loose on exit. We want a low level driver to test your sets. Pick me. I'm gonna follow uh, the line these guys do, I guess. I assume they know what they're doing. Turn, darn you car, turn! <laughs> I just can't keep up yeah, with that. Rich, you're awful. Uh, right. What if I run the high line? Everyone's favorite. Back up sure looks like that's pretty slow. Like a and we got a guy beside us, and we got another wreck. Six point two gallons. That's curious. Hmm. I can't get above 13, and I was 22. Texas destroyed me. Six gallons. Yeah, that's what I like. Six like gallons. So we'll be putting about really three in this thing. Pick my rating back up. Excuse me. Just for how stable and all they are for me. Uh, I don't think we pit still. I don't think we do. If I see anyone else do it in front of me, maybe. I know a lot of guys don't like doing the short track stuff, but what we did to try and help people get back into it is you can subscribe to short tracks and you get yes. all five. Tell me more for about your setup. For Twelve shop. weeks for forty-five bucks. Actually, don't. Uh, instead, you have to listen to me if you're watching my video. <laughs> anyway, I'm selling um, towels. Buy my towels. They're great. They make you faster. If you uh, come in for a pit stop and use one of our uh, Colton brand towels, wipe your forehead. It'll actually add a couple horsepower to your car. It's got wow. nanobot technology. They actually crawl onto your head and into your ear. And uh, they'll actually go into the driving part of your brain and adjust some stuff that actually makes you a better driver. Um, we have some good testimonials from uh, celebrities. Um, Mike Myers has told us it was groovy. Um, what else we got? Uh, we've got um, Mike Myers who said, get out of me swamp. And uh, who else? Let's see. I think that's a bit about it. Oh yeah, uh, former President Obama. He said, uh, get out of my office. So buy our towels today and uh, you'll go faster. So uh, yeah. Alright, are they done talking about it? Gen 5. 
Nope, they just can't stop themselves. So, we are going to pay attention in front of us for the moment and see if we maybe want to pit. 5.9. If we get more cautions, we might be able to make it to the end, but we're not going to want the old tires. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and stay out with these guys. I think maybe if we, if we get one more caution and it's not immediate, maybe. Because uh, there's always the chance we go green to the end from any certain point, you know. So if you can make it on fuel, it might be worth it. But uh, it seems like we're getting pretty regular cautions at this point. I imagine some of the guys in the back maybe aren't understanding uh, arrow push as much, so they slide up and hit people. Or, you know, just have less experience with it or something. I mean, I, I, it could happen to me at any moment. I'm not all that experienced with arrow push, so I could end up sliding up too high at some point. Getting into someone. So, I gotta be careful of that. Camping. Uh, in turn two, track side for the 600. What's the topic now? What have I missed out on? That way I don't have to leave my camper to get a beer. <laughs> Sounds like the at track experience is what the new topic Smart is. Alright. And going to be one to green here coming up. Burn -ins and full pork and everything during the race. 26 is having a great race up and fourth. What's your fall priorities right there? I mean, one of the things they were testing was I think they cut the split, uh, the spoiler in half at Charlotte to see what it did to their car. The shortest I've seen was seven inches. Yeah, they only took it down one inch. Yeah, I think they cut it from nine to seven. One left to green. green. We're on the inside again. Okay, Not much has changed here in next gen next. land. It's going to be uh, doing another restart here. A little closer to the finish. Point four gallons. We're almost able to make it if we were to fuel yeah, it up problem. again. Almost. We all started from somewhere. Okay, Jacob for wheel spin. Didn't think so. But. Got to expect the unexpected in these new cars. Second gear has been working just fine for me, so I'll keep doing that. Seems like we've been getting pretty decent jumps. We've just been going on green so far, so... Someone up there is testing out first gear. I hear that. I'm diving down towards pit lane. On green. Alright. Pace carries off. Green, 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 green. Let's go. Uh, less of a good jump that time. Outside. Not awful though. Sixth place. Stay low if there is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want to. Oh, need a bobble up there, you see that? A uh, call, sorry. Let me turn that off. <laughs> Cannot answer it at the moment. I am currently in Homestead, Florida, doing race things. You're probably gonna call again. I believe that's my fiance. Probably just asking if I want lunch, so not a huge deal. But I already ate lunch, so we good. There it is again. Hopefully uh, she'll get the idea that I'm recording. Shout out to my uh, ringtone. Um, it, it is Heal Me by Ovik. Good song. I like it. Is that what, which one was it again? Is it Heal Me? I might be thinking of the wrong song. I think it's Heal Me. <laughs> uh... And we're just hanging out in fifth right now. Trying to get their draft. They're kind of pulling away a little bit. Arrow push. Mm -hmm. Skinner's coming up on us. We'll let him by. High line this time through. 
totally not just making an excuse to run my favorite line. Even though it's slower. Excuse me while I uh, check my texts and drive. Don't do this at home, kids. Yes, she was asking about lunch, and I ate already, so. I'll miss a corner, just to make sure things are okay. It's not like I'm moving forward or anything anyway. Just kind of moving, falling back a little bit. I had a uh, snap on exit in a minute. A couple times earlier I've uh, felt it get kind of weird, get a little bit close to that feeling, so I haven't felt it in a minute. Apologies if you can hear my wheel, making some chattering noises. I think what I'm going to try to do with my audio is uh, A gate, a kind of gate thing to try to get some of those uh, ambient noises out of there a little bit, like the little tiny noises my wheel makes and uh, some of the background noises. If I do like a noise gate or something, maybe I can eliminate some of that annoying stuff. I don't know, I'll have to try that. I'll look that up soon. 14's coming up on us. When they go for it, I will not fight all too much. He's getting a run, it looks like. Taking the high line, so he's expecting to pass entering one, perhaps. It's not quite there, though. Just on kind of found our speed a little bit around Mike Skinner here. Who else drove that car, that, like, 31 Lowe's? Oh, did anyone else drive that? I can't remember. It's really just Mike Skinner in my head. It's kind of the age that I started becoming familiar with NASCAR when I was younger, so that's how I uh, have it ingrained in my head. Got a lap car coming up here. Have to watch out for. Time in a link. Whoa! Not gonna lie, Bobby. Oh, God. Where are you going? Say, so got loose. Oh, we're on the high side. Whatever. Rich, I'm just trying to pace us here. We're pulling away from the pack, so I need to kill him. Yeah, definitely manage our stuff mode right now. I guess I'm the lead car now how well I'm going to be doing that. Thank you, Steve. I think Steve got on the wall letting guys by. Stand for. <laughs> Ultimate good guy Steve walling his car to get out of the way. Thank you for your sacrifice, Steven. That's a bummer, though. I remember seeing him earlier, kind of just in front of us. He must have been in one of those wrecks. I probably should know. I probably should have seen it. It was probably around me, but I don't remember. It's kind of a bad corner. Felt kind of bad. Kind of just letting off the car until, uh, wants to allow me to take that low line and then getting back on the gas once it feels like it's hooked up. It's kind of the line I got going right now. Clearly I'm not fast enough to keep up with those uh, top dogs up there. But for now we're kind of, well I was going to say, leading this pack, but this green car apparently is faster. threatening to put a nose on me, so 
couldn't really go as low as I wanted there. Trying to block, just trying to take my normal line, and he's kind of was kind of bearish. So. <sighs> At least I got a little bit of feeling in the car now. I bumped that uh, force feedback up to infinity. Some tiny little bumps. Still not much, but at least it's, I'm feeling some resistance. It feels normal now. Didn't feel like a great corner, but it says I'm green, so it was probably a bad corner. And the last corner was just, or the last lap on that corner was just worse. No man, just driving. Still kind of feels numb. It's like I'm wearing gloves while driving the car. Is he passing on the outside? What's he doing? I'm not trying to block you. I'm taking my normal line. Saving quite a bit of fuel based on the estimate. Hello, hi, wow. We really tried to get all alongside me. I guess kind of like overdrove the center to do that. Unless I underdrove it, I don't know. That was weird. I'm doing the same thing every lap, I think. I'm trying to anyway. He gets a nose on me, I'm not gonna make it hard. I'm not taking that. I guess he wants to take the high side. Okay. Sure. You wanna pass on the outside? Ooh, is that a shift? Is that a good move? Doing a shift? I mean, if you're gonna pass me, pass me, man. Shifting. Maybe I'll try that. I'm slowing us both down now. It's clearly not all that much faster if he's struggling this hard. I'm still kind of just taking the line I was doing already. All right, and that's the yellow flag. So we're going to be good on fuel. No green flag pit stops for us. Awesome job keeping up with each other's cool. Race cars out. Line up single file behind car number nine. Race car is out. It's closed. I missed the entry at the time. That's why I fell forward. We'll fill her up. Put the f tires on there, and we'll be good to the end. Wow, let's go, you guys. I'll try to have a good pit stop, but it's not going to matter at all if we like good. overtake any of these guys up front. They're clearly faster. Excuse me. Unfortunately, I will be racing with you guys too much, seeing how you're seeing the tires. We'll get you there, Rich. I'm pretty much in the same boat as you, but I think I'm only at like a 3,500, something like that. I'm at a 12. Twelve. Yeah, but you're gaining like a hundred right here. <laughs> Watch your speed limit in the pits. The lead is pitting now. You'll gain okay, from twelve real quick. Right to the end of the race. Once you get over like twenty five hundred, is where you get, get out of the way. Box in five. I made it to twenty two, but oh, damn, Three, Texas took me. Box now. I would disagree with you on twenty five hundred. Oh my god, I actually stopped on time that time. <laughs> you have to break so early. I agree there, Greg. 
Yeah, and the dirt and the dirt. You got the new sounds for a uh, single lug nut, I guess. I'm over 4K on both of those, and yeah, it's the dog fight. Well, I'm gonna fall. I got 12 seconds to repair. I don't know why he's going so slow on pit exit, but <laughs> it felt like he didn't hit the gas. Weird. I think we overtook someone, maybe. Oh no, was it the guy that was having a great run? He'll get up there again. Yeah, what happened to Rich? 26 back there. He might have to slid past his box or something. Very easy to do, as I've well, demonstrated. I make it back up there. Ah, just be smart. Tires, we're at 92, 96. Wrong pass races, I don't think Still didn't feel any different to me. Maybe a tiny bit tighter, I guess. Sure. We got people that stayed out. Just gotta take my time is all. Rich seems smart. I bet he'll uh, get his eye rating up there before too long. He's clearly, he's clearly got pace. Got 10 to pass to get back where I was at. That's doable. It's very doable. So those are wave around guys, so no, we didn't have well, anyone I'm stay out or anything. One of the fastest ones here, so we'll find out. How is the piston happen? It is what it is. So we, uh, other than passing uh, the 26, who had some issues, I guess, uh, just maintained our spot on pit road. Felt like I uh, cleaned it up a bit at least, though, uh, in terms of not sliding past the box and not spinning with tires as much. Kind of figuring out uh, how to get it done in the next gen on pit road. We'll be uh, starting on the outside. I don't think I've started on the outside yet on a restart. Shouldn't be anything too crazy. Might get a little looser, though. In turns one and two. I'll have to be uh, aware of that. One left to green. Running a little it's higher up the track. We'll get a great view of the leader. Not going to make much of a difference, though, if they decide to go on green again. We'll just get the same start as everyone else, essentially. I might have an excuse to run the high line again, though. All right. Lose some time doing that. Heck yeah. <sighs> I'd say maybe I could learn something from these guys, but it just seems like they just have more speed through the, like the corners. I don't know what I would do. Maybe I should be pushing a little harder? I don't know, I feel like if I push harder the car just doesn't turn. Get ready, going green. Ice car is off, be ready. Green, green flag. flag, green flag. You're in fourth position. Feels like the green comes out really early here. See, I'm, I'm trying to push a little bit, but oh, Whoa, hit me. Oh no, it was Rich in it. I was rooting for you, Rich. I pushed the two to the lead. What happened? Somebody went below the line and got loose, and then took everyone out. Oh, oh my. That was a lot of cars in it, sounds like. Yeah. Fucking patience is a fucking wonderful thing. Whoa, we got some F-bombs. Who went below the, the line? The 14 was running the middle and just snapped loose and then hit me and I had nowhere to go. Keep right, you can now open. I thought, of course, yellow. It's our open. 
Well, uh, the 26 is faster than us, so that's maybe one more position that we're uh, going to be able to have at the end. Still watch the replay at 25, but you know where you can go. Well, I'm going to fuel the end. Just got tires, gonna not going to need that, so no worries there. Be on the inside this time, although I kind of liked the outside. It seemed fine. It did get a little looser on exit as I tried to push to keep up with those guys in the corner. He came to a stop on my bumper. <laughs> car 11, got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Pass that one, car. Where's the one? Is he down there? Left us 11, car bike. I am wretched for the first three. I just want to. Wish I had a water. I'm out of water. Not the 22. Pass that one, car. No, I, I, know you didn't I think uh, these caution laps are just going to benefit us because I think once the laps start going on, I think we lose time. I just stamped on the gas. Apparently, hey, what? Where are you guys going? <laughs> they be goofing. Going down on the uh, excess road. Are they trying to save fuel or something? It's fine, you got loads. Do they not have fuel? No. Deep road is closed. Under caution. They it's might closed. just be trying to entertain themselves during caution laps. I can understand that. There they go. I'm gonna be a boring guy and just stay on the track like a normal person. Poor Rich. Found himself back there at the wrong time. Eight. Shit, I got 11. 12 almost. How many guys we got on the lead lap at this point? Oh boy, not many. There are 30 cars that started this race and we got 12 on the lead lap. I think I finished one race. I think the 11 might be uh, getting back in the lead lap though. Maybe not. I think they were the lucky dog. I qualifying set and I had to run the whole 100 laps on the qualifying set. I should have never done that. 12 seconds of repair. So, Rich, those are kind of the things you live and you learn. Uh, that's what'll help to get you over that like hump. You just start to learn, like, basically put in your memory, like, ah, oh, is it worth it or not? Some places track positions. Yeah. One to go. Next time, line up on the inside. At the end of this lap. I was hoping. I figured I'd go for it, and then, then I got bit in the ass, but it is what it is. What did he do? Did he do that on purpose, get back there? What did he do differently that made him lose that many spots on pit road? No idea. Learn track position. I don't know. I probably missed something. Well, we're third now. That's our uh, highest spot of the day, I believe. Fourth, uh, our fourth place is going to be plenty faster than us, though. Like so deal do, uh, we'll get that back pretty quick. In these cars? Yeah, we have it. What kind of average lap time by yourself? Hey, real quick, I'm pitting in. Got to serve something. Uh, that I don't remember, sir. The pace car is in. Kind of, kind of got a little slow rolling start there. That was interesting. We appreciate that, Rich. Well, I tried the McCombie for this thing. Ooh, it's Luke. Go yeah, so we have something new. You can buy season the package, and then there's a
Hmm. Try to get it below that uh, arrow push a little bit if we can. Man, they get such a good runoff though. How am I supposed to keep up with that? I'm like already. <laughs> I'm already uh, pedal to the metal oh, by the time they're pulling away. Do I need better mid corner speed? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm doing something wrong. Maybe it's a setup. I don't know. I don't want to be the guy that blames the setup, though. I'll try to figure something out. I'm going to drive it in deeper. Not sure. They look like they're real on edge, though. See the guy's kind of pulling to the left a little bit, having to fight at it. Keep up with them. That time I drove in deeper than they did. I don't know if that's because they had ooh loose. If they had an arrow push. Holy cow! Okay, that was some of that <laughs> loose on exit. Glad I have that uh, force feedback up to astronomical levels because I might not have felt that early enough without it. That's why that's important. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying so hard to keep up with them, and I might just not have the talent to drive it that on edge. As long as I can uh, get their draft, though, I'm gonna try to keep it, keep that draft as long as I can. But uh, there they go. Twenty-nine there in the way. hear him. He's scaring me. Okay, now I think that was the number nine coming up behind me. So thanks to him for being on the racing line instead of high. I think the only way I was keeping up with those guys, though, is from the draft, so... Goodbye. I'll watch them get smaller in the distance, and hopefully we can keep our spot here. So we got that nine. Where's the next guy behind him? Take a look when I can. Get close to that apron. A little too close that time. It's not where I wanted to be. We got lap cars behind him, so apparently we got some room. That makes me feel pretty good about our top five situation. So much better than I thought I was gonna be running. Nine's coming though. All right, you have fun now. I'll take this opportunity to have some fun up here. Give him a little bit of a push, not physically, but with the air. Fighting them is just going to bring that number 16 and the guys behind them back to us, so no reason for that. I'm not going to try to pass them or anything. I'd like to keep this top five if possible. Like he goes a little higher on exit. Kind of trying to follow him, see how that feels. Pulling way behind us, that's cool. Well, hey, maybe this guy just uh, knows how to run it a little better, a bit better, so we're going to benefit from him being in front of us. for my noises of disgust. I just felt like I didn't take that corner very well. And I hear going, ew. Thank you, David. I have to 
to be a little lower on exit here because there's going to be a lap car up there. It's going to hurt us a little bit. A little bit though. I make it a habit to make give too much room to lap cars just in case. Never know when they're going to hit the wall and bounce off or something. Unless we got this draft, we can make it right back up to the nine. God damn it. You're clear. So we'll just work with this 9 for a while. A little bit of push there. We got a top five locked up though, as long as we work with the nine and not fight him for a while. So, uh, last I saw, we were still pulling away from the guys behind. This is assuming no cautions, of course. Catching lap car, a little bit of a weird spot, we're fine. They're slow enough that we're able to get the normal exit. The black thing looks like a tiny top hat. Do all, the, oh, do all these cars have that on there? I don't know, I haven't really paid attention. It stands out though on that green background. A little tiny top hat. I guess I can kind of feel it getting Thank tighter. You. Lead pack's not pulling away too fast, but they are still pulling away a tiny bit, it looks like. Maybe if they get real crazy at the end, racing each other, maybe we'll make up some time. I don't think anything, I don't think that's realistic in any way, though. If all goes according to plan, this will just be what the rest of the race is, I guess. Not bad. I love a top five after uh, my expectations are so low. Ooh, what's that? We got someone loose up there? Number two falling back? Are they going to lose the draft of that pack? That might be interesting for us. Depending on how uh, important this draft really is. I'm almost kind of falling back on this 9 though. I'm kind of relying on their draft to stay up with them. Probably not taking, the tire taking care of the tires as well or something. Now I'm starting to feel it get tighter. Earlier in the race I wasn't feeling it really at all, but now I'm kind of feeling it. Thank you. 24, after all that clean running, you do that crap? 24, he's the 24. What? I mean, I say that to myself too, like... Colton, after all that clean running, you're really gonna go and hit the wall? So, I mean, 
I get that. Feels like uh, trying to not scrub off speed in the corners is kind of a bigger thing in these cars. Feels like uh, trying to keep the wheel as straight as possible on exit is kind of helping keep the momentum up. This could just be in my head though. I don't know. It definitely feels like we're only keeping up with this nine because of draft though. Use a little break. Ooh, that didn't feel good. I think I would drove it though. Try it again. Uh, yeah, that didn't feel good at all. I don't know if uh, using the brake is really necessary. I don't know. Hard to tell what's good in these cars. These guys are real off pace. Car for no reason. Please, Nine, I need your draft. Don't leave me. seconds so even if we do lose this guy I'm not sure they're gonna catch us from behind but uh, I don't think there's any illusions of oh hello rich scared me coming up behind me so fast he's unlapping himself I guess okay front of me there, buddy. We got a mess of cars up there. Six was in a hurry to go. I'm not sure where. Gotta do it again, though. Hooray! Excuse to run the high side. Chance to check again if there's anything up here. The answer is no. of him. He's not really setting up to kind of get past these guys. He's kind of running like low. I feel like uh, if you're that much faster, maybe enter high or something and pass him while you get the runoff. I don't know. Oh, this is kind of scary. Mike Skinner, I remember you. Fighting the nine, <laughs> bringing them back to me a bit. Ooh, they almost touch. Entry. He's bringing them back to me. I'd Please be mad. just go. You're gonna mess up my race, jackass. Yep, I agree with him. Time 
the soft spot here. Five laps to go. Ooh, that might have held up by you and no one laps down, Jesus Christ. If four laps to go and we're ready to position, you have to play a fuck up game. Fuck off. I got it. Watch your mouth, you jackass. Uh, you can't really say that if you're gonna do that. No, no. <laughs> Man. Popcorn here, got your popcorn here. Yeah. I'll stay out of it. I kinda liked that brake on entry though. Ooh, that's feeling kinda good. Get it rotated. What you doing? Doing up there. Okay. Really? You just pay money for it, so I don't know how to build one. Hey, some of us work 60, 80 hours a week and we don't have time for that. I work. I work more than No one cares how much you work a week, dude. <laughs> I'm no longer rooting for the 26. <laughs> Sorry. They probably don't pay as much as I make. Oh, shite. <laughs> Sorry. Hit the apron. I need to focus on my race instead of the popcorn. Go right ahead. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the thing. I'm not going to walk in the door there and make it 26 bucks an hour. Oh, I got a lot of money. Ooh. Oh, I'm so sorry to have a PhD period this time. Go right ahead, buddy. You're doing good. Two laps left. Car inside. Clear. Top times are pretty consistent. I was holding you up so much. Get away from me. Go. Come on. Show me your path. <laughs> you haven't caught me yet. Put some brake bias in this thing. This thing's not rotating anymore. One flag. One more left to go. Oh hey, I can just like freely. <laughs> I mean, I go overboard. I should have done that sooner. Good with Thiago. You got everything I had. <sighs> Alright, well, top five. Thank you. Hooray! I'll take the second from a second race out on these things. Expectations. Diago uh, got this place figured out. Overachieved. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I learned a hell of a lot sitting behind him, I'll tell you that much. I went from being a few times off of them to matching them. <sighs> I appreciate that, Colton. He just didn't realize what was going on. Alright, so we will go ahead and check the incidents. Looks like we had a fair number of them. Great week, Colton. Yeah. Good, good run up there with Bobby and Jay. I got it, Thiago. Yeah, good race, guys. It was fun. I'll uh, see you next time. All right. Incidents. It's got to go all back uh, 100 laps or so, so it takes a second to load. What have we? A little touch on exit, that could be much worse. I'm not sure why we're seeing a pit stop. That's interesting. Ooh, really slid in front of him there. Interesting selection of colors. Green, pink, and blue, and red, and black. <laughs> Just give them all the colors, every one of them. Just 
I've seen a lot of nothing. This is going to take a long time if we're just seeing a whole bunch of nothing. Hey, there's me. My Nickelodeon car. I like that one. Got it in trading pinks. A cat dog all there and everything. Fun stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got the wall, I guess, above us. Had to battle that 11 for a while. And Mike Skinner. We saw both those guys quite a bit. I'm honestly leaving probably too much room because I use this line as uh, kind of my lane on the straightaways, which is pretty far down. You can fit a little bit more up here, but you know, sometimes I'll creep up there, but I normally kind of try to keep close to that line, give people plenty of room. Getting less out of my corners doing that probably, but it's fine with me. Especially if they're going to give me all that room. Bowser. How polite! You give me the entire track. Some more of that. Oh, it's catching up quick. Woo! Oh no! This happened right behind us and I didn't even see it. What an interesting set of circumstances. I think the 14 saw the 8 coming up on him real fast, so he had to move up, and the 15 was kind of coming down a little bit. Kind of just running his line though. Oh, he just barely gets him too and sets him to the left and hits him into the eight. That's rough. There were just a number of circumstances that led to that. So let's see the follow through. So far it's looking like they didn't hit anything. Look okay. Probably wasn't too bad on them. Just get a new set of tires and they're probably just fine. Some really weird pit entry stuff going on here. That was odd. Guy's changing the mind. Hey, let's watch our pit stop, I guess. Oh god, they ran over my crew. They're fine. Rub some dirt in it. <laughs> this is the first stop where I kind of spun my tires a little bit. Figuring out uh, how much throttle I could put into it. Got this green screen car. You could put, like, any background you want. Oh, okay, this is the wrecking under caution they were talking about. Yeah, this guy just stopping in the middle of the track. Why? What are you doing, man? Why are you stopping? I don't know if he's going to do that. He'd better green screen in a stop sign so people know. <laughs> what happened to dodge him? So I know that 10 got in an accident at some point. Is this it? No, this guy getting on the wall. Nope, this is it, baby. Oh, there he goes. Oh, yes, I remember this now. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Calamity. Oh, my God. It's the big one at Homestead. Oh, my God. Oh, the humanity. Daytona's not the only track in Florida with big ones. Holy smokes. Okay, well, let's, first of all, let's see it through my perspective. Kind of. Like, see what uh, was happening around me. In case you're wondering how I get good finishes, I ask Cosmo and Wanda, I make a wish before every race for a decent finish. So there, oh, that four almost came up and got me. Like, I, I didn't know what was going on, I just saw they were making contact up there a little bit, so I'm just like, alright, don't make eye contact, just drive straight. It's like uh, Jurassic Park, I'm making a lot of references today. Oh jeez, and the people are just piling in. Everybody. Join in the party. Wow. What a mess. Thumbnail's probably going to be something in there. But, uh... Yeah. Oh, that poor guy on the outside gets in it. Who else we got coming in? Ooh, he hits the brakes. This is He did what you gotta do. Hitting the brakes. Does he make it through? Yes, barely, even though guys were in, eager to become a part of it. So we got other guys not hitting the brakes so well. Oh man, ooh, they kind of got through it. They hit the brakes enough. What else do we got? This was a huge one. Some guys made it through with just some dings, but. Hmm. 
other guys are not so lucky. We got this huge pack coming up. We got a 30 car field, so. This guy does it right. Gets real slow. Doesn't try to rush into it. Did what he had to. I gotta watch this 15, because he came back. Oh, they're hitting back here. What's going on? So 11 kind of turns down on the 15, so they get in their own wreck. That's interesting. 11 sees it sooner than the 15 maybe and turns down onto them. And they get in their own little mini wreck. But the 15 keeps going, I think. Yeah. <laughs> he just, I don't think he hit the brake at all. I think he's just like, ah, well, I'm in it. Sucks I was in that wreck. Gotta fix the damage. Oof. <laughs> and then he's in it for real. Oh boy, that was interesting. And then we got that spinning out after it's over. I uh, just got super hot tires from sliding, and then they just gas it and then spin out one more time for good measure. Oh, it was a huge one at Homestead. Oh my god, what is happening? What was that? That's just anger, I think. From the uh, number 10. Just frustrated, so I guess reverse it to oblivion and slam into the 11. Oh boy, it's just Demolition Derby all of a sudden here. Well, that was... That was... Well, you saw it. It was something. Gone nuclear here in Homestead. Not sure if we're going to top that for the rest of this race. They're be sliding up. Maybe some arrow push. Taking out the 17. Yikes. Just finishes him off into the wall. Tricked ya, not pitting. Green screen. Into the wall. That'd be kind of funny if, like, uh, if you had, like, a YouTube channel or something and you just had a green screen car, so every race you just kind of put, like, something funny as the car. You can probably green screen that in. I can do it with my slime on the front of my Nickelodeon car. That's kind of funny. I don't even know how to do that though. I speed it up a little bit. This guy behind me. 14 in the wall. See ya running that high line? I wonder if that was working well for him. I wonder if you set up a car in a very particular way you could run the high side as your preferred line. And if I knew anything about setups, I would try to do that. And then 14 on the wall again? That might have just been prediction. It's gonna be wall. What else we got? Give me something spicy. No. That's just more wall. There we go. There's something. What do we have going on here? 22 cutting down in the corner. I think he got loose. Yeah, he got loose out of the corner and the 27 was there to catch him. Oh, he almost saved it and got it going straight. Not quite though. Bummer. That was another caution, I think. Up the middle? Oh no, the 14. I was wondering where he was where he was at the uh, latter part of the race. 14 ended up back there. Oh, this is another big one. Oh my god. I thought we wouldn't have a contender for uh, biggest strike after the first one, but man, the things you miss up there. Oh my. <laughs> oh, he's over. Up and over. Oh, they're flying in! A lot of the guys in the last wreck are back in this one. Okay, this is the one that got rich into it and became the nightmare of a lap car. Oh my. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> so I want to watch that guy fly in. That was kind of funny. It's not funny when it happens to you, let me be clear, but, you know. 
Gotta find a way to laugh somehow, every day. You still gassing it! Days of Thunder! Oh no. Not the Navy! This guy gets in it somehow. Not right, you see it, you can break now. Nope. Every opportunity to slow down for that one. Maybe he can't see it from there. Let me see it from uh, the cockpit. Uh, again, I guess you can't see it as quite as soon, but all right, there you see it. Still gasses it for another second and a half. That's rough. That's a rough one. Let's uh. Huh. A lot, a lot of guys stuck in that one. A lot of the same guys. I see a lot of familiar faces from the last track, but... Oh boy. Big one 2.0. Bigger and badder than ever. Hey, it's me. Hello, me. I'm passing this lap guy. Don't know why we're seeing it, though. Nine uh, still behind us at that point, pursuing us. He was definitely faster, though, so he deserved that spot. Um... Might have had a shot at him later in the race, and I would have taken the opportunity. Uh, had uh, his troubles with the lap car got me uh, got me to him or something, but like I sent a message to him, like I'm kind of glad I didn't, because that was kind of rotten the way that uh, the lap car was racing him. Okay, eleven, given the uh, bump and run at Homestead. Interesting. Oh, that's the end of the race. So, uh, we got the number one getting the win. Good for him. And uh, all the rest of this is just guys going to be stopping. These guys probably know each other. They're goofing around after the race. It doesn't count at this point. So, they're just uh, giving each other little bumps and stuff. So, all right, that's it. We got a top five. Started 15th, moved up to fifth. Um, really thought I was going to be much slower uh, after starting all the way back in 15th. But uh, we found our way up there, um, you know, kind of didn't try to overdrive it, you know, didn't uh, drive over my head, I don't think, and uh, gave people the spots when they got there so we didn't uh, lose a bunch of time fighting or anything, and uh, got ourselves a 0x in a race where some guys were going for the high score, so, hey, very happy with that. And uh, I will say, I enjoyed this a lot more than, uh, than I enjoyed, uh, how I felt about the next gen card uh, Indianapolis uh, I did feel like you had to do a little more it's still not my favorite but uh, you did have to do a little bit more I enjoyed it a lot more once I had the force feedback up a little bit and actually felt something a little bit it wasn't quite as numb so uh, yeah I'll give the next gen some more shots especially with open open setups cool I like these longer races and the potential for uh, strategy you know if the cautions don't come out quite the same way so yeah that'll be that for this race thanks for watching I uh I hope you enjoyed it. I had some uh, fun in the next gen. Imagine that.